how I manifested a revenue increase from zero to over a hundred thousand dollars in six months. Today I want to bring you my story to show you what's possible when it comes to manifesting results in your business. Now a lot of people say that it takes years to manifest six figures but I did it in my very first business with absolutely no previous business experience. One thing I want to mention before I share my story is that my motivation for sharing this story is to encourage you that these kinds of results are possible and within a shorter time frame than you might possibly think. But don't think that I'm some kind of like magical unicorn when it comes to my business success. I can assure you that many of my other big manifestations, such as my move to my dream seafront home in a warm country, took around seven years to manifest. So not all of my manifestations come that quickly. It's just that, you know, that particular one did. We are all on different journeys with different lessons to learn and different timescales attached to our own results. So you just have to uh, go through your own journey and not compare yourself to other people's timescales. But I do hope that you are inspired by my story and it motivates you to keep going or even start your business in the first place. And please don't feel like this would never happen for you. One thing that I firmly believe is that if we have a desire to do something, there is a reason for that and it will happen one day. Just don't give up hope that it will ever happen. If you have felt drawn to my story today, it's because everything that you need to grow your business is inside of you too. We always possess the exact same qualities as those who inspire us to take action. You wouldn't actually desire something that was completely impossible for you. For example, I have no desire to be a famous basketball player, so I don't feel much emotion um, when I hear about successful basketball players. I don't feel any jealousy, I don't feel any excitement, I don't really feel anything at all, and that's because I don't ever have a desire to do that. There is a good reason why you are here and that is because you are meant to get similar, if not better results than me in your lifetime. Here are five ways that I manifested a revenue increase from zero to six figures in six months. Number one, I set a crazy high mammoth goal. The first type of goal that I ever set is something that I call a mammoth goal. A mammoth goal is a goal that has a really long time frame, like 10 years. It's something that you could only dream about happening, but you'd love to have it happen in your lifetime. My mammoth goal that I set in my very first business before I'd made any money at all was multiple seven figures. And some may say that this is a crazy goal and part of me didn't actually believe it was possible, but there was a, another part of me that thought, why not me? Why couldn't I achieve this? And setting that goal helped me to think really big about my business. I no longer saw it as a small one person blog. I now saw it as a massive business and seeing my business as a big operation reaching millions helped me to get to six figures so quickly and reach over 30 million people with my blog the whole time my blog has been running. So it definitely helped me. And I have heard people say that it doesn't motivate them to set really big goals because they, it just makes them feel, feel fearful and overwhelmed and they don't know how to get there. But for me personally, because I'd put the 10 year time frame on it, I felt really relaxed about it. I felt like 10 years is a really long time. I've got all the time in the world to achieve that and there's no rush. So it didn't put any pressure on me whatsoever, but you have got to set goals that work with your own personality and just make sure that you're not feeling desperate when you set the goals that you set. Number two, I consistently stuck to my desired business plan. At the start of my business, I decided which business plan I was going to stick to and I was very consistent with it. I decided that I was going to start a blog and from that blog, I was going to offer a free gift. I was going to sell meal plans and recipe books and that was pretty much it. I started my blog before the days of podcasts and even before YouTube channels got really popular. So those weren't really on my radar. 
but keeping it simple really helped me to stay in my lane. And whenever someone asked me to partner with them at local events to say, run health events for local people, I always declined because I knew it would take me away from my mission to reach as many people as I could all over the world using a business model that made me happy. And doing local events didn't make me happy, so it was quite easy for me to stay consistent and say no to those things. I see people saying yes to far too many things and this can get you in trouble because you're spread all over the place and you don't know what works and what doesn't work and you don't know how to scale up because you're too scattered and you haven't stuck to one approach. And also you end up burning out, not enjoying your business because you're not doing the thing that really you love, you really enjoy. And I personally loved and still love to blog and I loved and still love to create products. So spending my time doing what I love helped me focus on giving people what they wanted, doing activities that I wanted to do. And this win-win scenario gave me consistent results. Later on, when my state of mind changed to fear, I started to try all other types of business models out of desperation. I tried everything under the sun. But adding new complexities to my business wasn't a good idea and it just made me feel even more overwhelmed about my business to the point where I actually hired 10 people when I really shouldn't have needed to at all. I should have been able to get by with just one assistant and I would have been able to do that if I stuck to my original business model. The third thing I did was I differentiated myself from everyone else. Right from the start, I knew that I had to make myself stand out in the marketplace. My first niche was on the subject of green smoothies. And back then, there wasn't a crazy number of people blogging about green smoothies, but there were just a small handful of people who had also chosen green smoothies as their niches. And thankfully, an idea came to me about how I could differentiate myself. And the idea was based on something that actually made a massive difference to my own personal life. So I was able to fully get behind it. My unique concept was to add the contents of my bowl of porridge, or in other words, oatmeal, which contained oats, nuts, seeds, raisins, and dairy-free milk. And I added this bowl of porridge to my green smoothie to turn my green smoothie into a complete filling meal. And I called my unique concept a green thicky. Green smoothies ended up just making me feel hungry after I had a baby. So the green thicky enabled me to have a full meal while fully attending to my baby on the go. And also get enough calories, which also included protein and all the nutrients you need for good health. And also drink exactly the right number of calories to lose all of my baby weight within months. I dropped five dress sizes within a few months. And I got such great results myself with my unique concept that I was so passionate to base my entire business around it and it worked very, very well. The fourth thing I did was I followed my intuition. I followed my intuition in terms of listening to the ideas that popped into my head. My unique concept came from my intuition and ultimately from my superconscious mind. During the first few years of my business, I closely followed my intuition and did what felt right, including joining a network of health bloggers, which really helped to take my blog to higher heights. In business, we have to do things uniquely. If we just follow the crowd and do what everyone else is doing rather than just listening to the still small voice inside of ourselves, we won't be able to be successful. Business is a game where you make up your own rules, which is why I love it so much. And I don't need to follow some step-by-step plan exactly laid out for me. If I get a nudge to do something in particular, then I just do it. But sometimes intuition does look like a nudge to take someone else's course and follow their plan step by step. And then maybe from there you can tweak things and follow your intuition um, after that. Um, So intuition can lead lead you to precise steps to take, but the intuition has to be there in the first place. And that's why it's so fun to tune into your inner voice because it's always going to give you something that you least expected. The fifth thing I did was I gave people what they asked for. 
After I'd been sharing my recipes for a while online, I'd built up a quite a large audience and I often got immediate feedback when I put out a new blog post. And one day I decided to share my story in a blog post and I actually created two different versions of my story in two different blog posts. One version of the story was focused on how I lost 56 pounds with green smoothies. The other version of my story talked about how I recovered from debilitating health problems with green smoothies. Can you guess which blog post became more popular? The blog post about me losing weight went absolutely viral on all channels and Google was sending me a massive amount of organic traffic to this post for many, many years. And I was always more focused on helping people improve their health before I did this experiment. But it was clear to me that the people had spoken and what they wanted was help losing weight. And I knew that by following my recipes, they'd also improve their health. So I was fine with focusing more on the weight loss angle. Have you heard the expression, sell them what they want and give them what they need? And that's exactly what I did. And the side effect was that people recovered from all kinds of horrible health problems while they were losing weight at the same time. A win-win scenario. And I also got inundated with people asking how I lost the weight and asking me to create a meal plan for them. So that's exactly what I did. That was the very first product that I ever created. I gave people exactly what they wanted and my seven day detox went on to sell many, many thousands of times and is still selling strong to this day. It's my most popular product because it's what people wanted. So I'm just curious, have you ever tried manifestation before and you couldn't get it working for you? Have you ever tried to manifest results in your business? A few years ago, I was fed up, overworked, and business strategies and manifestation techniques just weren't working for me. And after a lot of experimentation and some soul searching, I finally discovered where I'd been going wrong. Once I'd learned how manifestation actually works, I was able to feel confident to start a new business that I'd been putting off for years and manifest the doubling of my business revenue on my passive business that I that had been static for a very long time. And I have shared my system for manifesting more revenue, more customers, more ease and flow while doing the work that you adore, working the number of hours that you choose all without any hustling or striving in my signature course called Dream Business Manifestation. And in this course, I take you on a 30 day journey from manifesting the being the person that you want to be to manifesting your dream business to manifesting the money that you desire to make. And you can learn more about that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifest. I am also so excited to share my masterclass with you called Double Your Revenue Masterclass. And if you've tried all of the strategies to grow your revenue and it's still not increasing, this free masterclass will help you easily get to the next level. I am sharing three extremely powerful manifestation techniques to help you manifest your first sale and double your revenue. And this free masterclass is part of my dream business manifestation course. So grab it now free for a limited time only by going to kathkyle.com forward slash double. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.